Good morning, St. Rock. Today is Wednesday, December the 20th, and here's your morning reflection. So, meet Alpha about my cat. Yeah, she's here with us today. So, I don't know about you, but I've been very busy lately. I mean, I'm overusing hoodies. I mean, who doesn't love being comfortable? And wearing sweatpants most days, again, comfortable. And going to bed late and sleeping in as much as I can and napping after school is done and binge watching as much streaming services as I can while trying to take in as much social media as possible while playing Breath of the Wild. Come to think of it, I seem really busy. But sometimes we can mistake the busyness of doing a bunch of nothing and equating that with being productive. Unfortunately, we really aren't being that productive. We're actually being lazy. Which leads us to the vice for today, sloth. And no, I'm not talking about that slow-moving animal who lounges around all day, even though it seems the sloth has become our spirit animal as of late. No, sloth in human terms refers to laziness, putting off what can be done now to really do nothing. So when we're too busy couch surfing and binge watching, we really are just being lazy. And even though we can probably blame our current social circumstances of the pandemic on our laziness, I truly believe that we would probably be just as lazy and unproductive if this pandemic weren't around. It's really changing our behavior, which is really scary. And we are craving change and to move and be productive, but we feel stuck. So we feel like there isn't anything else to do, really. Our faith teaches us to watch out for being lazy. Idle hands are the devil's playthings, which means that when one is unoccupied or has nothing to do, One is more likely to get into trouble or do things which are probably not very good for us. And the same thing goes for our spiritual lives. When when we're spiritually lazy, we tend not to give to God the things that we ought. And our time gets spent on sinning or taking us away from our relationship with God. So today I want us to try to not let these moments in our lives and note them when we could probably become more productive helping our parents around the house with chores, um, getting off of our, out of our rooms, talking with people um, that are around in our house, especially about our feelings. We are better able to fix something about ourselves if we name it and talk about it. Play a game with our family, share a meal, becoming more social even in our spaces of home. And isolation can help us to regain some of the product- productivity that we really crave. And when we have moments alone, let's start to thank God for the ability to continue to learn in comfort. Thank him for the little blessings, and then we may begin to see the bigger blessings that we do actually have. And those are encouraging thoughts. So as we go through our day, help us to find the blessings and rekindle our passion of awareness and productivity. Help us, Lord, to give each and all of ourselves each day. And even though we can rest, help us to know the difference between taking a break and breaking up our laziness. Grant us the grace of determination. Amen. St. Rock, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day, St. Rock.